we'll guide you through how to keyframe in CapCut. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Keyframes are a great way to take your video editing to the next level, so let me go and show you how you can use them. First of all, you need to choose where you want to go and place your first keyframe. So for example, I want to go and place my first one here. So you can move along the timeline just by using your finger. And then when you find where you want to start to put the first keyframe, go and select the video you want to do it on. So I want to select this just video here. And then you need to go sort of to the middle of CapCut and go over to the right from the play and pause button. And there'll be a little diamond icon with a plus icon in sort of the top left of the icon. Click there and you'll see a diamond then appear in your timeline. And you've now gone and placed the first keyframe. And now what you need to do is choose where you want to go and have your next keyframe. For example, let's say I want my next keyframe to be here. Then what I can do is choose what I want the video to be at this point. So make sure you keep the video selected. And then let's say I want to go and zoom in for this next keyframe like that. I can then do it like this. And now if I go and play it back, as you can see, it's now zooming in because that is the keyframe we made. We changed the position of it. But what you can also do is if I go to this second keyframe here, you can go and choose how the zoom in will be. To do that, once again, you go to the right of the play pause button and there's this little graph icon to the left of the keyframe button, which you can click on. And you can then choose all these different effects, you could call them. So for example, you've got flow one, I'll click there like this, and you can then see how it sort of zooms in like that. And it sort of changes the effect a bit, which I think is super cool. And you can go and fully customize that as well. So, and then as you can see, the video stays zoomed in because that is how we left the keyframe. So let's say you want to then go and have the video go back to how it originally was, then make sure the video is selected. And then you can go and pinch it again to go and change the size of it. And as you can see, when you move it, it automatically goes and adds another keyframe. And that's it. So now what we can do is just go and play it back and you'll go and see that it's going to go and zoom in just now and then it's going to go and zoom back out as that's what we set the keyframe to go and be and once again I could go and set a custom graph as well so I'll click there and I could go and have the flow three this time and I'll press the tick and then as you can see that is how it's going to go and be and once again you could go and start adding more keyframes and if you want to go and delete a keyframe then all you need to do is make sure your sort of cursor or sort of video playback lines over it and you can then just go and click on that icon with the little minus icon and it will then go and delete it it's super simple